Baseball fans, Ron Ross here with Gopher Tech. I'm here to talk to you today about the pitching metric PA and how it relates to the bathtub curve. What you see on the screen right here is the normal engineering bathtub curve where you have your wear-in period, you have your normal life, and your wear-out period. The PA metric in baseball is essentially the same thing. You have your warm-up pitches, your normal pitch count with a low failure rate, and then the control where you end up missing middle, throwing wild pitches, and it's never pretty out there. That's why the coach takes you out. What we have determined with our algorithm that we've created is that from your warm-up pitches, in just in this area right here, we can tell what you're going to do out here. I know it sounds a little absurd, a little bit of a futuristic, a little money ball, but it's true. With the goal line being 400 seems to be a magical line, is that if you're above a 400 or a low failure rate, you'll normally win the game with normal run support. If you're above that goal line, above the 400 line, you normally only win the game with large run support. And if what we found, and interestingly, is that there's another line up here, the 300 line. If you're above that line, or in other words, you have a PA of 250, you just don't win the game. There are no sub 300 winners that we found to date. So, in summary, what we found with the normal warm-up pitches not this part, but right in this area, we can tell what you do here by sequencing how you will show up over here. And that, as it relates to earned runs, nor normally wins the game. So that's all I have from Gopher Tech today. And we wanted to stress to you how important it is to have a good PA and know what the PA is before you end up game or you end up like this, the gopher ball. Have a good one, folks.